Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have our sixth multi-battle where I am once again teaming up with Joshi, my friend and fellow PokeTuber, who's made a bunch of appearances here on the channel to take on the team of Flag FTW and Brendan, both of who are actually new to the channel and both members off of Joshi's Discord. And as you can see, everybody has a pretty cool lineup there. None more unique, though, than Joshi. As you can see, he is using all three variants of his favorite Pokemon, Wormadam. He was determined to uh, get this thing to do something here in this battle for him. So uh, it should definitely make for an interesting match, and we're going to get into it. So again, with this being a multi-battle, uh, leads and predictions are kind of limited, but I am going to end up leading with my Kecleon. Joshi led with Wormadam Plant Cloak, uh, Flag led with Shenotic, and Brendan led with Comfy. So I'm just going to go for the fake out straight away on the Shenotic to get some chip damage and of course the mandatory flinch. Uh, the Comfy is actually going to go for a Calm Mind. Get get that special attack and special defense increase trying to set up here as uh, the Wormadam is actually going to go for a Quiver Dance to get a special attack, special defense, and speed increase also trying to set up. And of course the Shenotic does flinch. So this turn, um, the Comfy is going to go for the Calm Mind yet again to go ahead and get another special attack and special defense increase trying to further set up. And uh, the Wormadam is actually going to match that with another Quiver Dance to get another special attack, special defense, and speed increase further setting up as well. I'm going to go for the Shadow Claw. The Protean is going to change me to a Ghost type, and I am going to hit the Shenotic up with that, taking it down into the red with a critical hit, but does survive and fires off a Sludge Bomb in return on the Wormadam. Not going to do too much damage, but he is going to get the Poison, which does suck for us because then uh, he is going to be taking some damage from the Poison on the Wormadam. So, um, this turn, the Comfy is actually going to go for a Floral Healing, which was definitely a surprise. Uh, that is actually going to put the Shenotic all the way back up to about three quarters health, as Joshi actually decides to go ahead and bust out the Z-Move on the Wormadam, which actually turns out to be the Grass Z-Move, which is, of course, the Balloon Doom. So, not exactly sure what move this is coming off of yet, but it should do a lot of damage regardless, especially with the Quiver Dance boosts. Unfortunately, though, the Comfy does survive in the red thanks to the Calm Mind boosts. I am just going to go for another Shadow Claw here on the Shenotic, taking it down to about a quarter, but the Effects War actually activates to poison me as well, which does suck. And then the Shenotic does fire off another Sludge Bomb, taking the Wormadam down a little below half, as that does take more damage from the Poison, and I am also going to take some damage from the Poison. So, this turn, the uh, Comfy is going to go for a Synthesis, actually, and that is going to go ahead and put that thing all the way back up to about three quarters health, as the Wormadam is going to fire off an Energy Ball at the Comfy, dropping it right back into the red, and then I'm going to go for one more Shadow Claw, this time on the Comfy to finish that thing off finally, and drop Brendan down to two Pokemon, as the Shenotic actually goes for a Giga Drain on me, not going to do much of anything since I am max special defense with an Assault Vest. It is going to give that thing a little bit of HP back, as both uh, the Wormadam and my Kecleon are going to take even more damage from the poison. So then Brendan is going to come in with Como O. And I'm going to go for the switch here. The poison damage is racking up on my Kecleon, so I want to save that for later. I am going to switch in with my Yan Mega as the Wormadam actually goes for a Psychic. And thanks to all the Quiver Dance boosts, that is actually a one shot kill on the Como O, which was awesome for us. That is going to knock Brendan down to just one Pokemon. As the Shenotic does fire off one more Sludge Bomb, that is going to be enough to take out the Wormadam, dropping Joshi to two Pokemon. So finally, Brendan is going to come in with Milotic, and Joshi is going to come in with Wormadam Trash Cloak. So I am going to outspeed everybody on the field here. I am just going to go for a Bug Buzz. I am Choice Specs, so that is definitely going to be enough to finish off the Shenotic here and drop Flag down to two Pokemon. The Milotic is going to fire off a Scald in return on me, taking me down to about half, and he does get the burn, which does suck on me um, as the... 
Wormadam is actually going to go for a Toxic to badly poison the Milotic. So the Milotic is going to take some damage from the poison, and I'm going to take some damage from the burn. And then my speed boost, of course, is going to activate to raise my speed. So then uh, Flag is going to come in with Ambipom. And I'm actually going to go for a switch here. I don't want to take an attack um, with the Yanmega, so I'm going to switch my Kecleon in basically as fodder at this point, but he actually goes uh, for the Fire Punch on the Wormadam instead, um, which does knock it into the red, but then a Scald from the Milotic is actually going to finish that thing off, dropping Joshi down to just one Pokemon, and then the Milotic does take some more damage from the Poison, as so does my Kecleon. So then Joshi is going to come in with Wormadam Sandy Cloak. And I'm going to go for the Fake Out here on the Ambipom just to get some chip damage and, of course, the Mandatory Flinch, which I do get. Uh, Wormadam actually goes for a Fissure, and to everyone's shock, it actually does connect on the Milotic, which was insane. That is going to one-shot kill that thing and actually eliminate Brendan from the match, making this a two-on-one uh, situation in our team's favor right now. So that is awesome. This turn I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch. The Protean is going to change me to a Dark Type. It does knock the Ambipom down to about a quarter, but it does survive. And then, unfortunately, Flag is actually going to bust out the Z-move on the Ambipom, which turns out to be the Flying Z-move, the Supersonic Sky Strike. So, uh, not exactly sure what move this is coming off of either, but... Um, it is actually going to be enough, unfortunately, to one-shot kill the Wormadam, which is actually going to eliminate Joshi from the match, making this a one-on-one -on -one situation, me versus Flag. So, this turn he is actually going to go for a Snatch, uh, probably predicting the Sucker Punch on my side, but I decide not to go for it, um, reading that he might have a status move or try to switch out, so I go for the Drain Punch instead. The Protean does change me to a Fighting type, and that is going to definitely be enough to finish off the Ambipom there and drop Flag down to just one Pokemon. I do regain some health from that, which is great, because now I can survive poison damage at the end of the turn. So, finally, Flag is going to come in with Espeon, and he's actually going to go for a Heal Bell, um, which actually does fail again, um, probably predicting the Sucker Punch on my side, but again, I decide to read uh, that and don't go for it. I go for the Shadow Claw instead, the Protean is going to change me to a Ghost type, and with a critical hit, that is going to one-shot kill the Espeon, and that is game. So, my team did end up getting the win on that one, but I thought that was a pretty fun match. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So, that's it, and we'll see you next time.